Today, communication is faster than ever. Cell phones, texting, emails, Facebook, Twitter. It's easy to communicate quickly and often. But we shouldn't confuse quick and often with effective. To communicate effectively, we must communicate clearly. We must provide the specific information the other person needs to do his or her job, and we must make sure that the other person understands that information. In a hospital environment, communicating clearly and effectively is essential and can save lives. Okay, we're just going to do your blood glucose this morning. Okay. And a little pinch. Everything looks good. Thank you. As soon as you're done here, I need your help. Okay, I'll be right there. Good morning, Miss Smith. How are you? Good morning. It looks like your sugars were a little high this morning, so I'm going to get you some insulin. Are you sure about that? The nurse tech checked my glucose this morning. She said it was okay. Hmm. Let me go double check with her and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Did you check Miss Smith's glucose? Yeah, I checked it this morning. Everything was fine. It says it's 190. No, that's supposed to be 109. It was put in incorrect. Let's take another look. Our nursing tech is probably very busy. It's easy to get distracted with so many patients to care for and so much to do. She quickly entered the patient's data, then went on to another task without communicating the glucose level directly to the patient's nurse. In this case, if the patient had received the insulin, she would likely have experienced hypoglycemia, which can be life-threatening. As the brain becomes starved of glucose energy, symptoms can include anxiety, diaphoresis, tremors, palpitations, nausea, seizure, coma, and can even result in death. If Mrs. Smith had become hypoglycemic, it would have been our fault. Medication errors are among the most common medical errors in hospitals today, including transcription errors that can happen when human operators enter data into a patient record. Take the time to slow down and think even when performing routine tasks, like entering information into an electronic medical record. Then, be sure to communicate clearly with other members of the caregiving team, and a crisis can be averted.